good morning. Are you open? Can I buy something from your bakery? No, afraid not. Not possible. We're closed. I can wait a while. You can wait, but we're closed all day. Day of mourning. I'm sorry. Please accept my condolences. Don't worry about it. Because of Madame Vorobolg's death, all the shops are closed. Mayor's decision. Try tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I won't be here. That's a pity. No need to go down there. Things jammed. Oh, this thing's jammed. Hello, sir. Miss Walker, I presume. Have you had a good journey? Everything went very smoothly. Thank you. Do take a seat, Miss Walker, please. No need to go down there. I should take a seat. I imagine you are aware of the business that brings me here. Of course. I was waiting for you. I am the legal representative for the Universal Toy Company. I'm responsible for... So I understood, Miss Walker. Uh, Miss Walker, I am afraid that the sale of the Vorlberg factory is not as straightforward as it first seemed. Whoa there. Everything was agreed. We'd obtained Anna Vorlberg's consent, and her death does absolutely nothing to invalidate that. Now I have to be back in New York the day after tomorrow, Metro Alphotair. My client and I are impatient to seal this deal. I understand only too well, Miss Walker. <clears throat> there is a... an heir, Miss Walker. Excuse me? An heir? But Madame Vorlberg never married, as far as I know. And in my last conversation with her, she absolutely never mentioned this detail. Miss Walker, believe me, I was more surprised than you are. Anna Vorlberg sent me a letter two days before she died. Understand, Miss Walker, that had I known about this earlier, I would have informed you. I shall read you the document in my possession. I am so very old. It seems that today life is slipping away from me more quickly than I imagined, and I fear that I will not be of this world to sign the takeover contract for my dear factory. So, I must make this confession to you now. 
My brother Hans is still alive. It would not surprise me if you find this difficult to believe, but it is indeed the truth. You must remember his death, his funeral too, even though you were very young at the time. It was but a sordid charade dreamt of by our father. To him, the very idea that his only son should wish to leave Baladilen and abandon the family business was unbearable. When Hans left, he preferred to think him dead and make everybody else believe this too. He obliged me to bear this terrible secret as well. I repeat that Hans is still alive, so when I die, it is he who becomes the sole and rightful heir of our factory. Okay, I see. If Hans Varlberg is not dead after all, then I just have to sign the contracts with him. I suppose you've already contacted him? Where can I reach him? The second half of the letter informs us that Hans Vorlberg is somewhere in Siberia. I will leave the document in your hands to read at your leisure. Anna Varlberg had no further information to add? Unfortunately not, Miss Walker. I have told you as much as I know. The situation, in legal terms, is now clear. If you want to conclude this sale, you have to find Hans Vorlberg. Apparently, there is a body lying in the town cemetery. There also seems to be some ghost wandering around Siberia. It seems you have your work cut out for you. Believe me, Miss Walker, when I say that I am most sorry for this regrettable setback. Most sorry. Great. What now, then? Perhaps you will find out more in the Varlberg factory archives. You will find the key in the waiting room. My role in this affair finishes here with the reading of this letter. And now, if you'll excuse me, I must rest. You see, my health is not excellent at the moment, and my doctor forbids me from working for too long. I will not detain you for any longer, Miss Walker. Do not forget to close the door as you go out. Goodbye, sir. Oh no, I forgot the notary will be resting. No need to go down there. No need to go down there. No need to go down there.
Hello? Kate? Dan, I'm so pleased to hear your voice. How are you, honey? Did you have a good journey? Have you settled in? It was long, tiring, damp especially, but I'm okay. Especially when you... Everything going as planned? Yeah, I mean, well, not really. It's not exactly what I thought it would be. You know, everything's so different here. Actually, while we're on the subject, I managed to free myself up tomorrow lunchtime. I'll come and meet you at the airport. I hope the flight from Paris won't be delayed. We're expected at the Goldbergs about 8 o'clock. I hope you have the time to take a shower and change, my poor honey bun. Dan, I don't think the Goldbergs tomorrow night is really on. Don't worry, Kate. You'll be as perfect as ever. Anyway, you never have to wear much to look really great. Dan, Dan, I- I'm going to have to extend my stay here. There's one or two complications. You understand? Kate, honey, what are you talking about? It's only a measly toy factory. The sale isn't going through as expected. I- I've got to stay a bit longer. Dan, you don't mind, do you? But Kate, Katie, you can't do this to me. I mean, it's the Goldberg contract. There's millions of dollars on the line here. I know, I'm sorry. You go ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll get back as soon as I can, I promise. Okay, I- I- I've got to go. I'll call you back soon. Love you, honey. No need to go down there. No need to go down there. Good morning. Good morning? What a pleasure to meet such a lovely young lady honoring our aging streets. Please, uh, please sit yourself down next to me so we can enjoy the air together. It would be a pleasure, but I'm afraid I don't have the time. Some other time, maybe. I hope so, miss. I remember when these streets were full of vibrant life. In those days, there was a charming encounter to be had round every corner. Ah, Our good little town of Valadilene is not what it used to be. It looks like things have changed a bit around here. Our children have all left the valley. They need to earn a living, don't they? Can't really blame them. You have to move with the times, don't you? And it's not at the Vorlberg factory that they'll find jobs. (laughs) Being excluded from the world is not an easy burden to bear, believe you me, miss. But it's such a pretty little village. Uh, I can tell you're not from these parts. I hope you enjoy the pleasures that we still have to offer. Good day to you. Hello. Kate, so what's new? We've got a problem, Mr. Marson. What problem? Come on, Kate, don't beat around the bush. There's maybe an heir. What? Hans, Anna Varlberg's brother. Uh, Looks like he's still alive. We can't buy the factory without his consent. What? What is this? Where's this mystery brother come from? And more to the point, where is he? What did the notary say? Nothing, I mean, nothing else. You know, sir, it's an odd town here. Everything's odd. The people, things. The situation's not straightforward. I have a small bit of research to do. Listen to me, Kate. Universal Toys is one of our biggest clients. And I don't care how weird that town is. All that matters is that you do not set foot back in New York before you've tied up the deal. Get the picture. Yes, Mr. Marson. You can count on me. I... Darn it!
can't go that way. point it's locked No point, it's locked. I need a key. I can't open it. Doesn't look like that works. If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Ah! Ah! 
I no longer need these punch cards.
door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. Door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. Good morning. You've got a magnificent garden here. Oh, please don't talk about it. Since my gardener automaton broke down, there are weeds everywhere. You can't imagine how much work it takes me. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. We're not used to doing without our robot help here in Veladilan. But everybody says that we're going to have to get used to it. No point, it's locked. I need a key.
about mammoths. You draw mammoths for Momo? Ah, oh, Momo, it's you. You scared me. What are you doing in here? Momo want mammoth picture, like Hans picture. Sorry, I haven't got a picture of a mammoth with me. Take paper and pencil and draw mammoth for Momo. <laughs> you don't give up easily, do you? You remember me, don't you? I'm Kate. Draw mammoths for Momo. Please. You must find me a bit rude turning up places uninvited where nobody knows who I am. You see, it's kind of my job, you know, to get involved. But don't mind me. Just carry on with what you're doing. Momo, not mind. Anna, kind. Never angry. That's right. She won't be angry. Not now. There's something I'm looking for, but I don't quite know what. I need a clue, anything that might tell me where Hans is. You want to help me, don't you? First you draw mammoths for Momo. And if I help you, you help me, right? Mm, Momo no. Kate is kind. Kate draw mammoths for Momo. Then Momo tell Kate secret. You've got a secret? First draw mammoth for Momo. Do you know if Anna came here often with Hans? Momo want Mama's picture, like Hans' picture. What's going to happen to you now that Anna is gone? Momo big now. They want Momo live at inn. Momo don't want. Momo take care of Momo. From what I've seen, you look pretty resourceful. It must be fascinating to live in a village full of automatons. Automatons made by hands. Difficult work. When Momo big, he do like hands. Momo friend of automatons. Tell me, Momo, did you come here a lot with Anna? Mm-hmm. Anna like Momo. Anna like hands. Anna on journey. Momo, I've got to go now. But see you later, maybe. Momo, I've got something else I want. Momo? Momo? Mm, thank you. Momo happy. Now follow Momo. Momo show his secret to Kate.
It's a shame this boat's been left to rot. Now it's full of holes. I can't go that way. You are, Momo. This is some walk you've taken me on. I've got to say, though, it sure is mighty pretty. Momo come here often. Momo like make splash in water. Because of you, Momo, I look more like an explorer than a lawyer now. If Dan could see me, I don't think he'd like what he saw. Momo don't know Dan. Because of Momo. Why have you brought me here? Mammoth doll in cave. Very important for hands, Anna say. Cave? What cave? Where? Momo not liar. Right. Now we're here. What do we do? Kate and Momo throw stones in water. Momo, we're here because of the cave. Something to do with the cave. Momo and Kate, friends. Tell me, Momo, do you really think that after all these years, Anna's brother is still alive? Anna always say hands go away, but hands come back, maybe. You are a strange one, Momo. I'm beginning to see why Anna Varlberg liked you. Momo, he... Mm, Momo look, look like hands. Momo very proud. It must be fat automatons made by hands. Difficult work. When Momo big... Tell me, Momo. Mm-hmm. Anna like Momo. Anna like hands. Anna on journey. Tell me, Momo. Did you come here a lot with Anna? Mm-hmm. Momo, I've got to go. must be broken. I've got to get a helping hand here. Momo. 
Momo. I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. Can you help me, please? What do? Help me open the dam. Um, Momo strong. That looks broken. I could use one of the oars from this boat as a lever, but how am I ever going to get a hold of it? Ugh, that oar is all dirty and wet. Momo, I've got something else I want to ask Momo. I've moved the ore nearer. Be a good boy and carry it for me. Momo say yes. Momo. Momo. Can you help me, please? What do? I need a hand opening the... Momo say yes. Momo strong. Very strong. Thank you, Momo.
Hello? Kate? Is it you? Well, yeah, who did you think it was? Uh, I didn't recognize your voice, that's all. Must be the distance or something. So, spill the beans. What's Europe like? You lucky lady, you. Honestly, I never get that kind of break. Well, so far all I've seen of Europe is this tiny village, and frankly, they're not very hospitable. Uh, the whole case is getting really complicated. There's this surprise heir I've got to find. I know. I talked to Lynn who bumped into Joss and she had coffee with the head honcho this morning. He didn't sound at all happy. The client's meeting him tomorrow, and when Marston tells him that the sale's not even gone through yet, whoa, you're going to be pleased you're on the other side of the ocean when that bomb goes off. Yeah, I get the picture. But so, how about yourself? What's up at work? We lost the Sarah Lou trial. I worked five months on that dumb case. I remember. So, for a bit of therapy, I went to Boomies. The sale started yesterday. Wow, lucky. It was absolutely crazy, Katie. Absolute mayhem. You know that blue silk top I wanted? Guess how much I got it for. I don't know. 250? 200? A hundred and forty dollars. <laughs> Just get yourself back here and I'll go down with you. <sighs> like it's my choice. Look, I gotta go. Call me soon, huh? I want a blow-by-blow -blow account of every moment of your great adventure. Get out of here. Look after yourself. You too. Yeah, I will. <laughs>